Hi, Internet! It's me, Lemon Drop! Oh my gosh, that's, that's the noise you'll be making after today's video. You'll be like, oh my gosh, there's a ghost! Something like that. I <laughs> got something like that. Anyway, today we're doing an, we're doing we're gonna do another Nukes Top Five, and I see. Let's just let's quit goofing around. Let's do it. Nukes Top Five. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Stop! 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 The Witching Board. Popular paranormal live streamer Ricky Velasquez and his wife Liz travel to an allegedly haunted house somewhere out in the middle of nowhere in Mexico. Now apparently the story of this place is truly dark and disturbing because Ricky will only mention that the house was once home to an extremely large family named Hernandez. Apparently some tragic and unspeakable event occurred at the Hernandez home and most of the family including many women and children lost their lives. Now, whatever did happen, apparently it was so horrific that many people still leave candles at the house to pay their respects to this day. So after exploring the downstairs, Ricky and Liz head up to the second floor. And that's when they begin to experience something that makes their blood run cold. Huh. Ricky is broadcasting their exploration live on YouTube. And as he reads comments from his live stream audience, this happens. <gasps> Hola. Hello. What's about? What's about? It's like the loudest footsteps, footsteps ever. The couple hears very strange sounds from somewhere on the top floor banging, moaning, and even what sounds like the voice of a young child. <laughs> so now, in an attempt to make contact with the dead, Ricky and Liz decide to use a Ouija board. And no, as you might have no, guessed, no. it did not go well. During the Ouija board session, the couple continues to hear disturbing sounds coming from the house. Then something happens that absolutely scares the sh out of them. Estás aquí con nosotros? Oh, it's a yes. Wait, 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 while using the Ouija board, Liz asks, Are you here with us? To which a terrifying little voice replies, Yes. yes. Ricky believes that he hears the voice coming from right behind him. So he looks through a clothing rack that is nearby and sees the horrifying, deathly pale face of a woman. The couple has had enough and they oh just God, run out of there oh as fast as they can. Now, keep in mind that all of this was broadcast oh, live was on YouTube. So whether it's real or not, it would have been much harder to fake. But whether it is real or fake, the footage is definitely very creepy. But if you want to take a look at the video for yourself, you can watch this entire exploration over on the YouTube channel, Ricky Velasquez. Okay, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Lemon drop approved. That's a real ghost. That's a real ghost. That's a real creepy ghost. They need to go burn that place to the ground. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine, can you imagine just moving some clothes and the ghost is like, oh hey, what's up? And you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. And you just run out of there. Uh, the ghost was just like, I thought we were having a conversation. Nope. No. 
burn your place to the ground. Ghost, let me drop a proof that's real. Oh, scary. Okay, okay, here we are. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. A group of friends are having a great time in Torreon, Mexico, when they decide to go on a very popular tourist attraction, the Cristo de la Noas cable car ride. The cable car provides beautiful oh, cool. scenery of the city as it transports tourists up the mountain and through the streets of Torreon. With such a spectacular <gasps> bird's eye view of the city, the group of friends can't help but take a video to capture the moment. But what happens on this particular ride is very disturbing. <laughs> What sounds like the voice of a little girl can be heard screaming in terror, and the group has no idea where the voice is coming from. Now, after the video was shared on Facebook, many shocked viewers believe they oh hear gosh. the girl say, quote, Get me out of here. I feel alone. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish. So no, if you do, please let me know what you think the girl is saying down in the comments. Did the group accidentally capture a paranormal event on camera? You decide. Oh my gosh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yes. Let me drop a proof. That's a real ghost. That's a real ghost. Yep. Either either that, or there's a child hanging from the from the thing. And like, help! Get me out of here! Help! Help! And then they're just letting her hang there, and then she falls. Either a real ghost or a real child. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's dark. Okay. Let me drop a proof. Real ghost. Real ghost. Yep. 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 Hey, <laughs> oh, we need scary videos, so if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Seven days. Seven days. Popular Japanese paranormal investigators Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film are contacted by a desperate landlord of an allegedly haunted apartment. The landlord claims that just over 10 years ago, a family of three rented the apartment. One night, the father had an unexplained psychotic break and took the lives of his wife and child inside the apartment. Their bodies were found hidden in the closet. The father went on the run and he was never found. Since the horrific incident, the owner finds it impossible to get tenants to stay in the apartment for more than a week. He says that within seven days, all of them abruptly decide to just move out. So, the landlord challenges the Omagatoki team to live in the apartment it for one week. Ten years? Figure out just what it is oh about the property that causes tenants to refuse to stay. Investigator Tomo accepts the challenge and decides to live in the apartment alone for seven days. Nope. A static camera records Tomo as he sleeps and spends time in the bedroom, where the tragedy took place ten years earlier. No, thank you. Challenge <laughs> ヒロ Tomo spends the first two nights and nothing really happens. Okay. But on the third Case night, salt. at around midnight, Tomo notices something very odd in the bathroom.
って確認ああ、there's nothing there! ないんですよ<笑> It's moving! It's moving! It's moving! It's moving! It's moving! A strange shadow can be seen in the window, but Tomo can't find anything outside that could be casting the unexplained shadow. Ghost. Then the next night, night number four, and things get a bit weirder. It's gone. The shadow from the night before has now disappeared as mysteriously as it came. But when Tomo goes to bed, he's disturbed several times while trying to sleep, as he keeps getting the eerie feeling that someone is in the room with him. Standing oh my gosh. near the closet. No, no. Cut to nights so five creepy. and six. And now Tomo starts to complain that he hasn't been able to sleep as he keeps hearing unexplained footsteps and even more terrifying, the unexplained mumbling voice of a woman. Now it's day seven. Tomo is exhausted and considers quitting the seven day challenge and just going home, even though there's only one day left. Eventually, he decides that he can tough it out and stays for the seventh and final night. Oh my gosh, one day, one the day investigator left, wakes up the next it. day refreshed and happy. He says he finally got a great night's sleep in the apartment. And this is when things get weird. While Tomo is at work, Hiro goes through the footage that was recorded on the final night of the challenge. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. What he finds leaves him speechless because something did happen that night. Something that Tomo has no recollection of. Something truly chilling. 2 a.m. In the video, no, Tomo seems no, completely no, no, out of it no. as he grabs the camera and sits in front of the closet. The video footage begins oh, to so glitch creepy. as Tomo creepily smiles at the camera and then inexplicably seems to just start crying. 
The footage begins to glitch and loop, repeating over and over as the terrifying face of a woman seems to peer out at the camera from inside the closet. Tomo says he doesn't remember anything about the incident and until seeing the bizarre footage, he believed that he had slept soundly throughout the night. So could it be that the investigator captured the spirit of the woman whose life was taken inside the bedroom? Yes. The woman whose body was found inside this same closet? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire two part of Oh my gosh, what is Oh my gosh! Oh, oh. let me drop his bruise. That's a ghost. That's a real ghost. That's a real ghost. Left in a real closet. That, and she just like took over his body and was just sitting there like I'm here in his body. <laughs> and it is creepy. Oh, it's so creepy. Like, oh my god. That, that owner? He's to burn this place to the ground. He hasn't rented it in 10 years. Time to get the insurance money, buddy. Gotta, gotta go for the insurance money because you're never gonna rent this place out ever. That's, that's, it's too haunted. It's just too much ghost. Too much ghost activity. <gasps> or you could just, you could just rent it as in like a, like a site attraction. You know, like ghost hunters can come and like stay in the place for like a week. Maybe, maybe we can make some money that way. Like a haunted attraction because, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so creepy. Let me drop a fruit. Let me drop a fruit. It's a real ghost. It's a real ghost. Wait, would ghosts take over your body? Why can't they do something productive like, I don't know, your taxes? Why can't a ghost like take over my body while I'm sleeping and do my taxes? Or even do the, do the dishes. Be productive, ghost. I mean, you can use my body, like, and just do something productive. Oh, oh my gosh. Ghosts better stay out of my body. Okay, okay, yep, let me drop approved. That's a real ghost. That's a real ghost. Screw that place, burn it to the ground. Everybody. Investigation and many more scary <laughs> videos over on the YouTube channel, Omegatoki Film. Into the woods. Into the woods. So it's another week and another mysterious video. This time I was emailed about a very old video without a source that's been making the rounds on social media. In the video, a group of friends are camping in the middle of the forest. Late that's into the night, they start to hear strange sounds coming from the dark woods. Now, in what is probably a terrible decision, they decide to grab their flashlights and go to investigate. What happens next yep. is downright chilling. search for the source of the creepy sounds, the group oh, spots what no. appears to be some kind of creature with glowing eyes hiding in the tree line. Shocked online viewers have pointed out that even with the potato quality old video, you can still see that the strange unidentified creature actually appears to blink before it runs off into the woods, adding just a tiny bit more credibility to this very odd footage. But without a source, once again, we'll never know the full story on this old video. So is it real or just an elaborate hoax? As always. Okay, okay, okay. Um, hmm. Fake, fake, I don't believe it. Nope, Lemon Drop does not approve. I don't believe that one. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You know, but I'll tell you what the, I'll tell you what, if it is real, I'd be the first one down there. I'd be like, come on, guys, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'd be running. I'd be running. I would even look to see if my friends would be behind me. I would just be like, oh, and I'd just start taking off. I'd probably run past the car. I'd run all the way home. I don't even like running. I hate running. Oh, but if I saw that in real life, 
Oh, oh you'd see me run. I'd, I'd run the track star and lemon drop. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. But I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not buying that one. I'm not buying it. Lemon drop does not approve. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You decide. I did. I did. I Getting decided. your foot in the door. <gasps> Get your foot now, door. if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know that I featured a ton of Saudi door kicking ghost hunters. I've seen them These include yeah, Adventure yeah, yeah. Allah, Yaza 1200, Abdullah yeah. Al Ambari, and the guy we'll be focusing on in this video, Adventure Jasim. Now, if you're not familiar with the Saudi ghost hunters I've featured, then here's a quick tutorial. Number one. They love hunting gins. Oh, they you got do, me a yeah. gin. Gins are bad news. Ya gin. Ya gin. Number two. The gins often seem to throw large objects at them. Oh my gosh, a bookcase. Allah. Think you can find something bigger, ghosts? And finally, no. number three, and most important of all, Saudi ghost hunters love kicking down spooky doors. They do, they do, they do. They do. Oh, did you kick? Did you take that, ghost? Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Bismillah. Oh, it's creepy. Bismillah. Bismillah. Oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. Bismillah. Oh my gosh. But now, recently, I was sent a video that reveals something new. And absolutely terrifying. Footsteps. Allah la ilaha illa huwa al hayy al ghayyum. La taqulu sinat wa la nawm. Lahu ma fi al samawat wa ma fi al ard. يعلم ما بين ايديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه ما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والارض ولا يود حفظه وهو العلي العظيم او ماي جاش لا اله الا الله That's right apparently these spooky doors are fighting back now so just a heads up if you're a door kicking Saudi ghost hunter, or you just aspire to be one, you be careful out there. When doors fight back. If you're new to the channel, honestly, my <laughs> videos come out. Is that? Yep, okay, that's it. That's it. Oh my gosh. The doors are seeking revenge. Revenge of the doors. <laughs> when, when you kick doors, they kick back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Spooky ass on the doors. <sighs> that's real. That's real. Lemon drop approved. That's the real ghost kicking real doors. And. It's just, that's haunted. That's haunted. That's what happens. That was when you go into haunted places. Doors get kicked in your face and stuff gets tossed at you. Got creepy faces looking at you. Oh my god. Oh, this was a good one. Oh, this is a good news. Oh my gosh. So creepy. Oh, so creepy. The scariest one was the the, the closet one. Oh, the closet one. Dude's, dude's all creepy eyes crying and then. A face peeks out of it. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If a face peeked out of my closet, I'd I'd burn this place to the ground. Actually, no. I would. I would just like. I'd just be like crying and I'd run out of here like no. My place is haunted. No. Oh, that's, that's what I would do. 
That's what I'd do. I'd go through all the emotions. Oh, it'd be horrible. Horrible. I don't want, I don't want no creepy, creepy ghost staring at me while I sleep. Nope. No, thank you. Go find something better to do. <laughs> okay, internet, internet, there you go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hope you have a great spooky day, and I hope no one haunts you, and I hope there's no ghosts living in your closet, because uh, who wants that? Who has time for that? No one has time for that. All right, internet, hope you have a spooky day. Bye, 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 bye.